In 2017, actress Jessica Alba and her husband Cash Warren upgraded their living situation to a large East Coast style mansion on two acres in Beverly Hills, which is where they still currently live. In 2019, naturally, she sold her former home in the Franklin Canyon area as well. While the current estate is by far Jess and her family's dream home, the couple continues to own an undeveloped 13 acre parcel above Beverly Hills and an investment property, once again, in Beverly Hills. And this one they rent out for 11 k per Per month. Today we'll be talking about a few of Jessica's luxury properties. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jessica Alba is an actress and businesswoman who was born in California and then moved around more than once when she was a child due to her father's job serving in the US Air Force. Finally, the family settled back in Southern California. In love with the idea of becoming an actress since she was five, Jessica took her first acting class class at age 12 and found an agent shortly after. She was a gifted young actress and Jess played many different roles, from light comedies to gritty dramas at the start of her career, making her feature film debut in 1993 in Camp Nowhere. Alba then branched out into TV with a role in the Nickelodeon series The Secret World of Alex Mack, as well as a lead role in the show Flipper. Jessica's big screen breakthrough didn't come until 2003 when she starred in Honey, but she soon established herself as a Hollywood actress going on to star in a handful of box office hits. These credits include the Fantastic Four franchise, The Eye, Sin City, and much more. Aside from her success as an actress, Jessica co-founded The Honest Company in 2011, a goods company that sells eco-friendly baby, personal, and household products. The brand has been super successful and was valued at $1 billion as of 2014, which has likely only increased since. At the time of this recording, Alba's estimated net worth is at a whopping $200 million dollars or more. This has allowed Jessica, her producer husband Cash Warren, and their kids to move around to some pretty lavish Beverly Hills properties over the years. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at where actress and businesswoman Jessica Alba calls home with her family, including a few of her properties past and present in Beverly Hills. On this channel we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases or the latest trends in their outfits, go subscribe to Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items, and more. The most disturbing thing about these Lil Nas X Satan shoes, they reportedly contain one drop of human blood somewhere on the soles, and not the metaphorical type. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Since Jessica had already upgraded to her current Beverly Hills home, in 2019 she was unloading her former mansion, also in Beverly Hills, for around $6 million. This sleek estate was located in the Franklin Canyon neighborhood and came with a ton of amazing features, as you might expect. Alba and her husband purchased the property about a decade prior for just over $4 million and it spanned 5,300 square feet inside with 5 beds and 7 baths. Built back in the 1970s and renovated since, the couple's former home was situated on about half an acre of land behind security gates, and two of the beds and baths were actually in the private guest or staff suite located above the garage. This space also had a lounge and a kitchen. Inside the main Spanish style residence, stone floor tiles cover the entryway, and then in the formal living space, the flooring flows into distressed hardwood. One of the living rooms is spacious with all white walls and a ton of sunlight thanks to the wide windows. The kitchen is designed in a modern farmhouse style, boasting a U-shaped island with seating around it and premium appliances, while the formal dining room opens up to the courtyard outside. Elsewhere, there's a cozy office library with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves. Aside from the two ensuite guest rooms upstairs, this level of the home is shared with Jess and Cash's former master suite. This space incorporates a seating area with black and white tiled fireplace, as well as French doors leading to a private terrace. Not to mention the marble floored bathroom and two custom walk-in closets. 
The outside of the property is just as upscale as the inside with numerous patios furnished with comfortable seating and space to dine and entertain. There's a covered dining terrace that leads to the lagoon style swimming pool surrounded by an exotic wood deck and tropical landscaping. Not to mention the yard also has an outdoor kitchen and a pizza oven in case you get hungry. In 2017, Jess purchased her current Beverly Hills abode for $9.9 million right next door to the Real Housewife star Lisa Vanderpump. The mansion is built in a Hamptons traditional style on 1.85 acres of land in the exclusive gated enclave of Oak Pass Road. This celebrity filled neighborhood is full of the utmost privacy and security in a peaceful setting only moments away from the shops and restaurants of Beverly Hills. In fact, other stars that live on the same street include Demi Moore, Channing Tatum, and more. Jessica's estate is said to be her dream home and where she and her family truly wanted to settle down. Inside, the interiors are East Coast chic, spending 8,829 square feet, and the open floor plan flows perfectly while still boasting private spaces. There are six beds and eight baths throughout, as well as numerous living and entertaining rooms. Alba's two-story foyer has a black and white checkerboard marble floor, and right off of this space, there's a media room and more. The nearby dining room has a fireplace and plenty of space for hosting guests, while the formal living room also boasts a fireplace and more than one set of French doors leading to the grounds. Also in the entryway of the home, there's a glitzy chandelier and a grand stairway leading upstairs. Along with the four family or guest bedrooms on the upper level of the mansion, of course, Jessica and Cash have their master suite here too. This retreat comes complete with a fireplace, two walk-in closets, a large luxury bathroom, and French doors out to a private terrace. The bathroom they share now has a steel frame glass door enclosing the full shower and bath suite, which they added during renovations. Back down on the main level, there are a handful of other highlights, like a media room with full bar, library, and extra staff bedroom. Let's not forget the kitchen, which has a breakfast nook, island with chandelier overhead, and extra bar style seating. The couple also got plenty of help redesigning most of these spaces, working with Clement's design to make their dream home. The kitchen now looks a little bit different, with dark colored cabinets and a dark brass hood over the luxury oven range. Jess and Cash ended up going through an 18 month renovation on their home, even making the floor plan more free flowing for the family. They opened up the family room to the kitchen and blew out the back of the house, installing a folding glass wall that reveals the incredible views. Out back, the actress's property has a private yard with stone terraces, a built-in barbecue area, and swimming pool and spa, of course. All of this, plus the extra lawn space, overlooks the hills and canyons below. Rounding out the abundance of amenities, a detached guest house with office also sits on the property above the large garage. In 2018, Jess additionally decided to rent out one of her first Beverly Hills estates for $11,000 per month and it came fully furnished. She bought the modestly sized home back in 2002 for $1.1 million and has redecorated the entire place in recent years. Spanning 2,286 square feet of space with two beds and 2.5 baths, the property is hidden behind a gate and a security system and the villa sits on a hillside with views over the city. The four levels inside the home are linked by one corkscrew staircase, while interiors include ebony hardwood floors, jewel toned furnishings and more. While it may not be mansion size, the rental home still offers airy and large living spaces, like a double height combination living and dining room with stone fireplace on the main floor. There's also a well stocked kitchen with marble countertops, and on the lowest level a denim colored entertainment lounge with high ceilings, wet bar, pool table and 80 inch flat screen TV. On a hidden, in between level of the home, there's a roomy guest suite with small den and exterior entrance, while the master suite takes up the penthouse level. There's another exterior staircase connecting the terraces outside, and the views from the property feel like you can see all of Los Angeles. So now we've taken a look at three of Jessica Alba's properties, including her current dream home in Beverly Hills. It seems the actress and entrepreneur has settled down perfectly with her large family. After checking out her mansions, past and present, which was your fave? I really liked her chic design style in all of the homes, and they all were a little bit different. I gotta say the first home may have been my favorite, even if only because of the lagoon style swimming pool out back. However, I'm also obsessed with her glass enclosed shower and bath suite in her current house. It looks like it's straight out of a spa. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. We'll link you my latest video.
show. So Michael and I watched the movie The Girl in the Basement. When you watch this movie, you might not believe that anything so disturbing can happen. The real life story, the man was Joseph Fritzl, and it gets really gruesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.